Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and today I have a review for you, and a blind, and a double review, all the things. Today I'm going to review the new Jack Daniels 10, the Jack Daniels 12, and then I'm gonna do a blind against the other 10, so the batch 110. So I'll do it, give you my review of each one, and then I'll do a blind of these two against the Jack Daniels 10 batch one. So this is the batch two, and then, oh yeah, batch two of the 10 year, and then this is batch one of the 12 year. I'm so grateful to Jack Daniels for sending these to me. I'm excited to review them. Haven't tried them at all yet, so I'm gonna crack them open here and tell you my thoughts. Just give you my honest thoughts on them. So, as always, thank you guys so much for being here, for watching, for subscribing, for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me, and I appreciate you being here for my journey. So, let's go ahead, let's start off with the 10 year right away. We've got the 10 year, and that one comes in at 97 proof. Oh, 10 year old Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels is great. So I'm excited to see what this is. I do remember liking batch one of the 10 year. Um, I haven't drank a ton of it, but I've drank enough of it to know that I like it. So, whoa, that was a lot of paper on there. Okay, so we got that out of the way. I'm gonna pour this in, give it a try, see what I think of this one. It's also my first pour of whiskey today, so see how this goes. Whoa, I can smell that right away. Cheers to y'all. Let's do this. Right away, I notice on this glass, this is super dark. Like it has an amazing color. That is, wow, really pretty dark amber color. All right, let's swirl around a little bit. Give this one a nose. Wow, holy moly. That is so incredible on the nose. You get this like pow in your face, like oaky richness, sweet caramel, vanilla, a lot of oak, but in a nice way. It smells very creamy. Definitely that vanilla bean, caramel, a light amount of orange peel in there. It smells like really good classic Jack Daniels with a lot of age. And it does not burn the nose hairs. The nose, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Got choked up there for a second. The nose on this is fantastic, it really is. Let's dive in and see what it tastes like. Slosh it around in there. Whoa. Whoa! So good. Wow. That is delicious. I'm trying to just chew it around in my mouth for a second to give you guys my real thoughts. Cause like I said, first pour of whiskey for the day, but wow. One more step here. That is fantastic. Really, really good. Like, holy moly. That's very good. It's an, it's just matches the nose. It really matches the nose. That creamy, rich oakiness. Really, really nice oakiness. Vanilla, caramel. Like really good classic whiskey notes that taste so good. I always wanna say bourbon classic whiskey this is Tennessee whiskey and it's freaking delicious Tennessee whiskey at that wow and this is some of the best Jack Daniels that I've tasted now it's it, it's not comparable to like a Koi Hill or something like that like Koi Hill is just on another level but to me this is so freaking good full of flavor full of richness and I really 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 like it I like it a lot um yeah I Whoa, even a banana note. I just got the banana note as I was sitting here talking to you. Kind of let it settle in. That banana note came through. This is so good. It's like a banana, caramel, vanilla, oaky, rich, sweet, delicious drink right here. I am going to go ahead and give this one 4.25 corks out of 5. That's my initial thought right off the bat. This is very, very good. Really enjoy it. Now let's move on to the 12 year. I can't wait to see what this one tastes like, especially after trying the 10 year. Wow, that 10 year was so good. Let's pour this one up. I should probably get myself a little swig of water here. Got one right over here. Andy dandy water. Hey, I didn't forget it this time. Okay, take a little swig of water, clear my palate out for a second. Okay, so we got that out of the way more paper to get out of the way. So this one actually comes in at 107 proof. 
Wow, so it's 10 more proof points higher than this one because this one is at 97. So we got 107 over here, seven. Seven is a good number for Jack Daniels. It's a good number. All right, so let's look at this one. Wow, holy moly. This one is super dark. Look at that. Wow, that's a beautiful dark color. Beautiful dark color. Oh, here we go on the nose on this one. Whoa. Wow. Oh my goodness. That nose is insanely good. Like, wow. That nose instantly reminded me of like an orphan barrel, like an older orphan barrel. And this is 12 years old. So it's not like older, like some of the orphan barrels that I really enjoy, like Fable and Follies, 14 years, but this one has that really nice old aged sweet oak smell on the nose, like sweet, like aged oak that you would smell in your grandparents' attic. It's so good on the nose. More of that vanilla, more of that caramel, a light note of banana, but overall super well balanced on the nose. It's fantastic. Whoa. Wow. That is so good. It's similar to the other one, but actually quite different. And by quite different, hmm, it's darker, deeper, a little richer. That sweet oak really lingers through there. The, a little proof boost on this makes it even better. Wow. Creamy, rich, full of flavor. The finish is fantastic. It's like, it's thick. Oh, I, this is so good. This is something I love. I wish I had an entire bottle of this because it's so good. So is this, like they're both fantastic. Mm. This one though, this one's even, be, even better than the 10. The 12 is even better. And that's why I'm seriously like, in a different way, I'm gonna give this one 4.25. We got to that number differently than we got to this one. This one scored a little bit higher on the finish and not like, just scored a little bit higher on the finish, a little bit lower on the nose compared to this one. But overall, they're very, like, very similar. Very, very similar. I would reach for the 12 more than I would reach for the 10, just because I like the proof, a little proof, a little higher proof on this one. But wow, both of these, mm. Fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna have Bill pour me a blind of all three of them. So the 10, the 12, or the two 10s and the 12. And we're gonna see which one comes out on top. All right, I'm back. Bill got these poured, labeled, mixed. I don't know which is which, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pick one, I'm gonna pick a winner, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see which one ends up on top. I feel like there's no way the 12 can't finish on top. Like that one is so freaking good. Okay, let's dive in. Here we go. I'm gonna start, I'll start right here. Actually, I'm just gonna kind of smell all the noses. Wow, let's see what they look like in color. They all look pretty dark. Okay. Let's try these. Yeah, on the nose, they all smell fantastic, honestly. The one in the center smells a little bit older, but that's just right away. Initially, it smells a little bit older than the other two. Okay, here we go. Let's take a sip. Good. Very good. Creamy. I like that creaminess, actually. It's nice. Let's go to two. Here we go. Oh my lord, that is fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. The richness that comes through on that, that is so good. Mm. Ooh, it has more proof than the first one, guarantee it. Definitely higher proof. Let's move on to this third one. Whoa, sweeter, much sweeter, but still very good. More of that thick, sweet molasses banana note. That's very good, makes me think of breakfast. Mm. Right away, I have a winner. Okay, I'm gonna rank these like initial, like right away. I got a ranking. Like I can tell you immediately. One, two, three. That's how it's gonna go. 
That's my ranking. All right, now let's figure out what these are. I guess Bill said you guys probably already know what they are because they're on the bottom. I can't see them, so I don't know. So let's figure out in third place, which I will say all of these are so freaking good. I just, this, this one at the top is above the other two. So here we go, let's see. In third place is the tin. So Jack Daniels tin, batch one. In second place, Jack Daniels tin, batch two. That means in first place is the 12 year, Jack Daniels 12 year, holy freaking moly, it is so freaking good. Like I'm kind of second guessing my score that I gave it, I kind of think I want to give it a 4.5 out of 5, just because it really does stand that much taller over the, the 10, the batch 210, so I don't know, I love it. Let's just go with 4.5. You probably saw earlier in the video that I said 4.25, but right now I'm gonna tell you that is a 4.5 all day. So freaking good. Love it, enjoy it. If you find them, get them. I can't wait to find, I'm gonna go hunting for these. I'm gonna be searching high and low. Hopefully someday I'll find it. 10 for sure, I mean the 12 for sure, I gotta find. So good. Anyhow, that's my review. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. I ha hope you have a great day. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.